therapy is this backboard here. I don't like it. Good morning from the Fort Gary Hotel. I would call this honestly the most beautiful building, the most exciting building in all of Winnipeg. So my trip at Briarcrest was awesome. Uh, at this point in time, I'm basically just waiting to kind of hear back from the coaching staff and what they want to do moving forward. We kind of set a February deadline for, are we going to move forward or are we not? So February is the time that they're going to make the decision. Do they want to go forward with having me on the team in the future or not? Like I mentioned in the previous video, very early in the whole recruiting process. December is really, really early to start committing guys unless you're an absolute stud, which I'm not. But in the meantime, I have to do something. Like I can't just sit here, sit on my rear end, drink you know coffee and eat Twinkies for the rest of my life. I don't eat Twinkies, but point being is that I can't do nothing. I have to do something if I, if I want to play hockey and if I want to continue to develop. Now, I got off the phone last night with a head coach from a college team. Now, I'm not going to say the name. This is a very good phone call and very important because this league is having a development camp this year. They're going to be two brand new expansion teams in this league for next year. That is huge. This is big for a couple of reasons. Number one, an expansion team is starting from scratch. They have nothing. They probably don't even have a bucket of pucks at this point in time. And I think this is my in because as a team that doesn't have anybody, you want older players, some guys who can have leadership. Now, if we can all agree on one thing, it's that without a doubt, things at VIU didn't go the way that I wanted to. I there is so many things that I screwed up there and I really do feel that I'm a better goaltender today because I learned from those mistakes and that I, I took a chance on a trial with, with the Bisons and I, I got a little taste of pro. And I think I'm a better goaltender today than I would have been if I had just stayed at VIU. Now we can sit here and say what ifs and I feel really good about my game. I feel like there's a lot of potential here and especially with two brand new expansion teams. And I think that this might be the best way for me to get back in the collegiate level game, assuming Briarcrest doesn't work out. Now, I'm not writing Briarcrest off by any means. I'm just trying to keep my options open. I got four years of development that I can have, four years of eligibility left in the college game. I have two years before I'm done and I have my degree, my business degree, and then I can move on to other studies. But at least I have that piece of paper. If you have great numbers and you have a great resume, you're going to play in a lot of places. If you have garbage numbers, you're going to have a very hard time. Exhibit A, right here. Now, tough to say, I mean, like, we are nine months away from the start of next season. It's the beginning of December here. Actually, believe it or not, random fact for you, it is yesterday was the 106th year anniversary of the Fort Gary Hotel being built. Probably didn't know that, but I need to get back on track. I need to get into a program, and I need to do it as soon as possible, and I'm not going to be able to do that if I don't have a plan. If you fail to plan, you have planned to fail. Now, I'm getting back on the gym. I'm getting back on the ice training with Steve McKeegan, Leafs goalie coach. I have a plan set up for these next couple months that are going to hopefully enable me to be successful. Last year at VIU, I was skating once a week. I might have gotten, to be honest, lucky if I got 25 shots of practice. Just because I was the third guy, I was only allowed to skate once a week. I didn't have opportunity to grow. I feel I got 10 times doing that from the start of the year to the end of the year when I went home in April from when I came in August. I was still, I feel, able to overcome those obstacles, develop my game, get better, and I think do a whole 180 in regards to my game to be competitive and to compete and get myself a U-sport trial. I don't think I'm able to get those opportunities or even get signed to have a pro trial in Columbus in the federal if I didn't make those changes. Those were big obstacles to overcome. I overcame them. Now I have a lot of free time. I'm not tied down to going to school. I'm not tied down to playing hockey and practicing once a week where I'm not getting a lot of development. I have total free range. I can do whatever I want with this time over the next four to five months before this camp happens. Ice times, workouts, training, on ice, off ice, all of it. That is going to be dedicating the next five months of my life, four and a half, five months, whatever the timeline is before this camp happens. Getting better, getting ready for that camp. so that when I walk in there, I'm going to be the man. I'm going to walk in there. I'm going to light it up. I'm going to do well. I'm going to get signed. I'm going to get back from this college game because fuck me. Does this suck not playing hockey? Triple extensions with and did a little bit of barbell work, got some squats in, and finished with some uh, some upper back work. You know, I don't like it. You don't want to see yourself. No, I don't want to see it. That's so weird. Well, then you know that you're in frame. For Travis especially, we when he first started coming, we looked at his movement and and uh, got his hips going a little bit better. He used to come in here and not do a whole lot. He used to bench and do a lot of arms, and uh, we needed to focus on his squat and his lunges and his and his hip hinges. I'll so that out to you, the benching days, those are reflected in my stats in junior. Yeah. Most of the time. We built up his squat, we built up his hip hinge so that when he's in net, he stands up a lot more upright and getting the legs more powerful, really. 
because everything comes from your legs, especially as a goalie, right? All the side side movement. Okay, goodbye, sir. See ya. See ya. Oh, I need those. Have fun. Good luck, Rob. See you later. So one of the things that is going to be a big problem for me right now is that I don't have practice time, I don't have a lot of ice time except for beer league games and like the occasional emergency ice time. Somebody really needs to go away desperately, right? I need to get practicing, I need to get back on the ice and I was actually just texting our coach from Arbor when I played Junior B there. It's not the highest level of skate but they are being nice enough to allow me to come skate once maybe even twice a week, and that one ice time a week will give me some opportunity to kind of fine tune some skills, get back on the ice in a practice setting, and as sad as it sounds, kind of fine tune that into a beer league environment. So when I'm going into this exposure camp and this development camp in the spring, or if I'm committing to Briarcrest, I have something kind of already working in my favor. Gotta go to Arbor later tonight. <sighs> Harrison Key 70, where do you want to be in the next year? I want to play college hockey, dude. This is where I want to be. Tendy 31, no questions here, just love you. Love you as well, brother. Cam Brindle, how are you continuing to believe in yourself while struggling with somewhere to play? I think it's just got to come from somewhere within, dude. Like, I, I know I have what it takes to play. I know I have the assets to be successful. I have the skill set. I'm big, I'm athletic. I have the desire and the drive to want to be somewhere. It just takes one. I need one coach, one program to believe in me, say, sign the papers here. We're in. All I gotta do is get on base one time. Jake Fuller, what's the best hockey team you've ever started for? I've never really been a starter, to be honest with you. I mean, I started a bunch of playoff games for Arburg, so I guess Arburg would be the best team simply because in Junior B, that was the only team that I ever played for. So I'm gonna go with the Arburg Ice Dogs. Great question, T Hodge 55, playing high school in South Carolina. I've started one out of our first five games so far. How do I get more starts? You don't deserve anything in this lifetime, my friend. Nobody deserves anything. Nobody's entitled to anything. You have to earn those starts. Simply put, if you're dominating at a level and you are just the man, you are a machine, you will get the starts. If you're not, you're probably not going to. Time to dig in, put the heels in, go to work. In the gym, on the ice, all that, back to work. Do you think uh, the other, geez, holy. What do you think the other River Dragon School always did better than you and how can you improve? The guys with better resumes, better playing, better pedigree, they're gonna get the shake or, or they're, they're gonna get a nod before you do. Kyler Rigsby, how are you dealing with the adversity of trying to find a club to get on? Rooting for you, by the way. Well, first off, thank you for supporting me. You just gotta have the faith and the confidence from within. I think back to the drawing board. This didn't work out. Let's try, try, try again. Thomas Edison with the light bulb. That dude failed like a thousand times trying to figure out a light bulb. Now look, look at all the lights in here. This room is not lit the way it is if you didn't just keep going and going and going and kind of hammering the nail on the head. Simple as that. Mustard Tiger, how sharp do you get your skates? I sharpen my skates with a spark sharpener. I would not ever use anything else but a sparks because this thing is awesome, convenient, and I can literally do it like 30 seconds before I run out the door because I forgot to sharpen my skates. Let me show you. And if you want one like me, I get mine sharpened at 3 8 so I have the 3 8 wheel on the sparks. Use the promo code TRAVSUCKS for 50 bucks off. Great deal. 3 8 love 3 8 Sparks Machine, highly recommend it. Promo code TRAP SUCKS, 50 bucks off your spark sharpener, your next purchase. Moose Gang 88, how do you make your catcher close easier? Guys ask all the time, why does my glove not close properly? Gloves are designed to close properly, some of them don't close fully. 
it comes from within. You have to have that strength. Just open and close that thing. When I get a brand new glove, I'm opening and closing that thing all day long to break that thing in. Matthew Sunderland, are you gonna put the clip of me opening a five hole and going cheese? Let me tell you a little story. So at Briarcrest, we were doing a little, uh, I think it was a three on three game. Correct me if I'm wrong here. I made a stop and I saw it, saw him cutting around me. So I went to kind of open up to kind of get my foot back to the post, opened me up, dialed it in cheese, five hole. Greasy one. Cameras were dead though, so I didn't have it on film, but I will confess that did happen. LEW5, what advice would you give when your team isn't playing very good or isn't very good? It's out of your control. You don't have control over how your team plays, whether they back check block shots. You gotta make the save. It is tough to do. It is hard to embrace. You have the ability to make stops. Make them. Find a way to get them done. Illicol 20, what is the most durable stick you've ever used? 1S stick. That thing would last in like six or nine months, depending on which 1S stick I had. Highly recommend you get a Bauer 1S stick. If you want a composite that's awesome, that lasts. Folks at Sideline Swap are having the biggest sale ever. Everything on the website is up to 70% off. Now, hold, hold on, don't get too excited yet. The sales only last for so long. They're a limited time offer only. I recommend you go to sidelineswap.com. Don't tell too many people because everything's gonna get bought. Go to the website, sign up, get an account, and get some awesome per return new use sport equipment.